In this video, I will show you how to use Eventbrite to create events and sell tickets. So if you have something that you want to sell tickets for or just create an event for, in this video, you will learn how you can do that using Eventbrite. So first, just go to eventbrite.com and then click create events here in the top right. After doing that, you want to go and click on get started for free. Now here to create an account, either enter your email address or sign up with Google or Facebook. I'll just continue with Google. After doing that, it will say, let's get to know you first and then just choose what kind of an event you want to create. So these are the main ones, but if you click more options, there will be more right here. Now, for example, I will say food and drink and then how many events do you plan to organize in the next year? I'll go two to five events and then you can choose if your events are part of a recurring series. On average, how big are your events? I will say up to 100 people. And then what matters most to you? Something budget friendly and easy to use to reach more people and keep them coming back or more customer support and tools for professional event organizers. I'll take the first option and then go and click continue. Now here there are two options, you can either start with creating your first event or you can discover Eventbrite. I'm just going to get right into building an event, so click build event if you want to do the same. Then here write a title for your event. Then when does your event start and end? So first the starting date right here and then the start time, for example at 11.30 and then the end time, let's say for this one it's at 7pm. Then where is it located? So it can be a venue, an online event or to be announced. I'll just go online event, but if you have venue, you can just enter the location right there. After doing that, it will say how much do you want to charge for tickets. You can set it to your tickets are free if you'd like to. But for example, I will set this to $15. Then what is the capacity of your event? So how many tickets are you willing to sell? For example, I'll go with 150. Then click create event in the bottom right. And now you have created your first event. Now I'll show you how you can actually sell tickets and what happens when you do sell tickets. So now you can see it has created this page for you. And this is the event page. So you can see general admission now is $17.85 and that is because there is a $2.85 fee from Eventbrite. But now people can choose how many tickets they want to buy and then they can actually go and check out right here. But you can see I haven't yet published it, so I'll show you how you can do that as well. But just make sure this is all correct and you can still click edit event if you want. And then now what you can also do is change the image right here. So if you click delete right here, you can then upload your own image. For example, I'll just upload a thumbnail right here and then click save. And then that will be the image for your event. Now here you can also add a URL to a video, for example, from a previous event. You can then choose what text you want to write. So you can just click on it and then do the title and summary. Then you have an overview, FAQs right here. You can add those as well. And you can add more sections if you want. So there's an agenda right there. So after you're done, go and click on save and now I'll just close this and now the publishing part. So click publish in the left right there. And now here, just make sure everything is correct again. And if it is, just go and click on publish now. You can also set your refund policy right here, but just publish it once you are done. And now my event is published. So you can now click share right there. And now you can get the link right here or you can share it wherever you want. And now when I open up this link, you will be able to see the landing page right here and people can then actually go in and order tickets so they can click checkout right there and then they can pay with credit or debit card or with PayPal and once they do order this ticket then you will be able to see that in your account by clicking in the top right on your email address and then click manage my events. And then here you can see all of your events and you can see how many you have sold, how much it has earned. And if you click on it, you will be able to make any changes that you want. And you will have a dashboard with an overview of all the payments and stuff like that. Now, if you click on the edit icon here next to the event link, you can even change the event link to whatever you want. Now, one more important thing to do is in the left here, click on the bank icon. And once you do that, you need to verify the payments. 
So here you need to set up your organization profile. So enter your country of residence, your details right here, then accept the latest version and click save and continue. So just gonna set this up so that you then can actually get paid. Now Eventbrite also helps you market your events. So if you click marketing right here, you can see you can also market your event from here. So this is the event I've created. Now you can share it on social media. You can add it to Facebook. You can send an event announcement or you can even promote your event on Eventbrite. So if you choose this one, for example, you want to just click on it and then click let's go. And now you can just show it on the actual Eventbrite website. So set an objective, increase awareness or drive traffic. And then here you can build your ad. So when do you want it to start and end? And what is your daily budget? Then the target location, you probably want it to be pretty close to you. For example, I'll just do this. And then here you need to add your payment method. And then you have launched a campaign on Eventbrite. Now, there are also other ways to do this. For example, again, in the marketing section, you can share it on social, Facebook and stuff like that. Now, in the reporting, you can also see a general reporting if you have multiple events. So then you can see your orders for all of them and stuff like that. In your order section here, you can see specific orders. So you can see the buyer info. You can resend tickets and process refunds from within here. Then from the event section here, again, you can see your own events. Now, if you go organization settings right here, you can then here also choose your settings. So you have the ticket fees right here, which is usually 3.7% plus $1.79 per ticket. And the payment processing is 2.9% per order. Now in the plan management, you can also choose to get one of their paid plans. So they have the pro plans right here, and then you can send more marketing emails. You can also invite your team members from here in the team management section by clicking on invite users and you can set their roles right here. Now, if you want to integrate with other softwares that you use, such as a CRM or email marketing software, you can then click apps marketplace right here. And then you can see they have a bunch of integrations and it also integrates with Zapier so that you can integrate with a bunch of different apps. But for example, with MailChimp, there are native integrations and you can then click get app and then you can sync those as well. Now in Eventbrite, in the homepage, if you scroll down a bit, you can see the level up your skills at Eventbrite Academy section right here. Now, if you drag this bar a little bit, you will see scanning and check in. I recommend following this course because this course will teach you how to use the Eventbrite organizer app to scan tickets and check in attendees for your event. So of course you want to check if somebody actually bought the tickets. So you can see that right here, there are some guides. So now you know how you can use Eventbrite to sell tickets and create events. If this Eventbrite tutorial was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.